Welcome to the Wayne State Preview for the GLIAC Media Day. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss and joined by head football coach Paul Winters. Before we look to 2017, let's take a look back at 2016. The Warriors started off very strong and then obviously had some injuries at towards the end of the year and struggled a little bit. What do you take from that going into spring ball and now into summer camp? Well, we tried to improve the things that we thought led to our losing at the end of the season. Um, we tried to be a better football team on the little things and just emphasize just the, the details. Um, I think the other part of it is just the fact that, that we lost some guys from injury. Now we have to go into this season looking at the fact that we've lost 26, 27 letter winners and we're going to be a younger football team in some of the positions, but we still have some great skill guys coming back. Yeah, who are some of the skill guys on offense? Obviously, you've got your quarterback and running backs and some wide receivers back. Well, with Zazula and Romello Brown and Deontay Nicholas and Demetrius Stinson, um, those are really the top guys. Um, from a wide receiver standpoint, we have Manny Mendoza coming back and Derese Roberson, um, two guys that have played well in this league. So, so we're excited about that. Um, Preston Pelham's at a tight end that's played a little bit. And, um, he's an excellent blocker and, and a good receiver for us last year. So we're excited about those skilled guys on offense. You were talking about the losing all the letter winners. Obviously, the offensive line, you lost four or five starters. So I assume you looked at Tommy Richardson to be your anchor on the O-line. You know, we had, a, we had a dominant offensive line last year, and we had two guys that are NFL-type players um, that are in camps. And uh, not having them mm -hmm. is going to hurt us. But Tommy Richardson is a two-time first-team all-league GLIAC player and really – um, one of the best offensive linemen we've ever had here. And, and we expect him to be our leader up front. But Charlie Younger is another young guy who has played a little bit. Um, the great thing about last season was we were able to, to get big leads in about seven or eight games. And in all, this, all those games, Tommy Richardson, Israel Helms, um, Greg Weber, and Justin Toxteen played. Mm -hmm. So they got a lot of playing time, actually, and some of those seniors – you know, played a half, and then they sat down. So those other guys played a half. So even though they they weren't listed as starters, they played a lot of football. Um, defensively, obviously, the linebacker core last year, you had three fifth-year seniors. Now you've got a new group of linebackers that are going to try to make their mark. I like our linebacker group. Um, Ryan Smith is a, a Mike linebacker. He and Dustin Carlin are, are two Mike linebackers that have gotten a little bit of playing time. Dustin's a senior. Ryan's a sophomore. Um, they're going to be great players in, in our defense, and I'm excited about that. Um, Leon Eggleston is a star for us, outside backer. Um, you know, he reminds me somewhat of Ed Viverette. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put that on him that he's <laughs> Ed Viverette, but he's a good football player and, and, and very similar to Ed. So we're, we're excited about that. And um, Drew Dowding is a, another young man, and, and, and I don't want to forget Pittman. Um, Anthony is, is an outstanding, tall, athletic linebacker. He's 6'3", 230 pounds. Um, he's pretty he's, – he's, he's a stud. So the linebacker position, although we have guys that are young, we have guys that have played, and they're good players. A defensive line, obviously, at the ends, you've got guys that have played in Derek Coleman and Jake Carrizales, plus a couple of younger guys in Brady Beaton and Jalen Lewis backing them up. So it looks like the defensive line – front has some returning experience. Well, you know what? The defensive ends are great. Um, and I, don't, I shouldn't say that. They're, they're talented. <laughs> and, and, and I think they're going to be great. I think um, Derek Coleman was second team all league last year. Um, Jake Carrizales, I think, was second team all league. Um, those two guys are, are, are special players. And Jalen Lewis, I mean, it's going to be impossible to keep him off the field. <laughs> Uh, he's a special player. So I, I, I have great expectation for the position. I won't call them great yet, but they're, um, they're impact guys. Um, uh, inside, Justin Hollins is a 310-pound kid that can stuff the run and, and provide a push up front. So, so we're excited about him. Taroka Battles in the same class as him as a sophomore, and he's an active three technique. So we, we've got some really good players coming back. I think some freshmen will help us at that position. We recruited five defensive tackles in the freshman class, and um, they're outstanding. Sounds great. Obviously, in the defensive backfield, too, you've got James Howard and Greg McDade, guys that have played some football for Ronnie you. Ronnie Brandt. And Ronnie Brandt at safety. Yeah, no question. Um, special teams, you've got some young guys, kickers, and, well, and Paul Graham hopefully returning from injury. I think Paul, you know, just talking to him, I think he's healthy. 
and and that's a difference for us. I mean, he's a he's a quality all league kicker and all league punter. So if we can get him back healthy, that'll be tremendous. If we can't, I think Luke Bevilacqua really learned a lot over the past year and, and will be a better player for us. Um, as far as long snapper is concerned, Ronnie Brandt's mm -hmm. back, and um, you know he's a he's a heck of a football player and he's our punt returner. Um, Schedule-wise, a little bit different format for the GLIAC this year. Everybody has the first two weeks as non-conference. We open up at Walsh and then host Indianapolis. What are you going to look for to those two games before you get into your nine-game conference stretch? <laughs> um, that's a great question. <laughs> I think that we have to kind of see how those young guys up front gel, uh, you know, get the nervousness out. And, and, and I think from a defensive standpoint, we – we're going to have some new guys in the secondary and in linebacker, and we'll see how they play. I think that it's a good opportunity for them to, to get some experience before they go into the GLIAC. I think that the schedule really works out well. Now, um, obviously, Walsh has a new coach. Indianapolis is a heck of a football team. Um, those are two really important games for us. And if we can get some um, confidence in those two games, if we can feel good about ourselves, we, we can get on a roll a little bit. Sounds great. Thanks again for watching this preview of the Wayne State football team.